You know, everybody can talk or speak, but not everyone can act or do. Everyone has got talent within, but you just keep hiding your face, hiding it out, pretending you have nothing to do. Come on, don't be stupid, guys. You have to walk in and show to the world that you can do it. You know, people who are great and accepted are the ones who do things that they say rather than saying things that they cannot do. Look at all successful people. They have acted first instead of talking without moving, moving forward. They have acted and showed to the world that they can do it. Look at Jokate Mwegero. Honorable Jokate Mwegero has proven that she's a woman but she can do it. Here, I came to notice that the main, the main points of success, the main key to success, I feel, is believing in yourself. When you believe in yourself, you can do anything anything absolutely anything and by believing yourself i don't mean like how many successes you have how many medals you have how many a's you got in your report card believing in yourself means accepting who you really are considering your flaws your failures your imperfections you have to be the creator of your own life not a victim thank you and i'm a man of business so i'm going to talk a little bit about business I'm going to fill you in on a little secret on how to have a successful business. Treat your business as an airplane. Yes, you heard me right. Treat your business as an airplane, a typical airplane. As we all know, an airplane needs a pilot. And you are the pilot. The pilot needs to cross-check everything is all right, the fuel, the engines are working all right, and needs to know exactly how the plane works. And that is how you're supposed to be and act on your business. The wings. I like, to re I like to make a representation of the wings as your sales and marketing programs. I like to, I mean the engines. The engines are your sales and marketing. The wings are your products. The most important part is the cockpit at which you, the pilot, are there. Make sure the administration of your business is quietly on perfection. That means nothing, no facts get past you, nothing gets unnoticed. Now, failure, this is one big topic that everyone is usually scared about. Whenever someone is studying, whenever somebody is planning a goal, nobody plans a case of failure. Everybody plans a case of success. Everybody's going to be planning, I'm going to succeed first, then after succeeding, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. Nobody is planning for failure. And what happens after we fail? Depression, hope, well, loss of self-esteem and all of that. What I'm going to tell you is that when you fail, it's okay to feel that moment because every moment in life counts. So feel that moment. Feel the loss of hope. Feel the pain that comes with the fail. But don't stay too long. Stand up and get out. Leo, nataka nyuwaeze siri moja ya kubadili ulimwengu. Ili ulimwengu, uwe tafauti na tunavyo uona. Ili tuweza kubadili ulimwengu, kuna jambo la msingi na nakua tulifanya. Michael Gary Craig anasema kwamba, Wazazi wengi wamesahau majukumu yao ya kuwalea watoto wao na kuwakuza vizuri ili waweze kuishi kwa manufaa ya jamii. Wazazi wengi wanasahau kwamba wanatakiwa kuwalea watoto wao na kuandaa ili waweze kuwa manufaa wa jamii yao. Kwa mfano, hapa tulipo wengi tumepitia misukosuko mingi mpaka tufanikie katika maisha. Tumepambana sana mpaka tukafikia hapa tulipo. Lakini jambo la kushangaza jitihada tulizozitumia atuwaelekeze watoto wao wetu. Tunawadelea watoto wetu kwa kuwadekeza. Kila wakati mami unataka nini mwanangu hiki? Watoto hawafanyi kazi. Watoto hawana chochote zaidi ya kukaa wana deka wana subiri chochote kutoka kwa wazazi wao. Rai yangu ni kwamba tusikilize maneno ya anaitwa John Sook Moore. Ye ni, ni mwenye kitu wa wanawake katika Global Peace Foundation. Anasema kwamba The family is a source of intelligent children and successful children. Mimi kikubwa ambacho nimekipata nime especially kwa Mosi Sereme kwamba andaa mazingira. Kabla hujasema uj, kwamba unataka kuwa speaker, andaa mazingira, jifunze wewe mwenyewe kwa sababu ukienda kuongea mbele za watu lazima utoe kitu. 
Sasa kama hujajaza eh, materials za kutosha, ukienda kuongea mbele za watu, watu wanakuona kama vile hujajazwa vizuri, yani huna content ya kutosha. Kwa hiyo andaa mazingira, jifunze we mwenyewe kabla hujaenda nje kusema kuinspire watu au kuwaelimisha, kuwa motivate, kwanza jifunze wewe uwe na kitu cha kusema. Sasa, just balo kupitia hii tamasha la leo na Mr. Nabe, umejifunza nini? Jifunza vitu vingi sana. A, kwanza kabisa alipuzungumza kaka kwa mkipata fursa kuzungumza katika kwa mfano kuna funeral or, or mtoto wamezaliwa au kuna harusi umeambiwa kwa MC usikatae unajua nenda zungumza na hicho ni kitu ambacho na, naamini sana kwa mkipata fursa na wewe ni speaker na una muda give back sio lazima ulipo unaweza ukaenda ujue unaweza kukutana na mtu gani mimi nilipokutana na Mr. Nabe mpaka leo nakumbuka siku yenyewe i was not supposed to meet Mr. Nabe nilisema kwamba nimealikwa sijui niende nisiende nimevaa shati ya kawaida kabisa nilitoka darasa hali kadhalika nikaamua basi nitaenda event ya Deo Kalawe e, nilienda nikakutana na Mr. Nabe and the rest as we say is history mpaka leo na namshukuru Mungu sana kwa kutukutanisha na with Mr. Nabe nimekutana na speakers wengi sana lakini Shigongo, Luvanda nisingekutana nao kama isingekuwa kama singekuwa Mr. Nabe. Kwa hiyo namshukuru sana Mr. Nabe kwa kuandaa platform kama speakers conference. Sawa, so, ukiangalia kwa hiki kilichofanyika leo, je, yeah, unaita una, unahitaji kushauri nini kwa Mr. Nabe katika event ijayo? Da. Yaani event yenyewe ikiwa perfect uh, si sidhani ipo kitu kushauri. La lakini labda ni, ni kwa ajili ya industry as a whole ni, nimeona hicho kitu kwa miaka miwili niliyokuwa kwenye hiyo speaking industry ya local Tanzanian kwamba kuna wanawake wachache sana na leo leo niliona kwa okay kuna Lilian aliyokuja kuna mama pale alipozungumza lakini ni, ni muhimu sana kwa wote wote sisi it's our responsibility kwa speakers wote kwamba we need to empower more women we need more women in the industry kwa hiyo kwa hiyo hiyo pia ni, ni, ni we can take it up as a challenge kwa that we should bring up more more women as speakers kwa sababu rais wetu pia ni, ni mwanamke kwa hakuna tofauti kati ya mwanaume na mwanamke la na and i think i think it's possible maki mr nabi ni mtu ambaye aki, akiamua kitu basi anafanya kwa mimi najua next year tutakuwa na panel kubwa kweli ya speakers ya wanawake tu na last year i think we had a wanawake panel kwa hiyo naona naona labda tunaweza tukaendeleza hiyo wanawake panel na we empower women of our country okay. mr nabi kumekuwa kuna tendency ya most of speakers kushauri watu kuwa bilionea in case kwamba wao sio bilionea. Je, yeah, hii imekaje kwenye speakers ni kitu ambacho kipo? Yaani kumshauri mtu kuwa mtu fulani afu in case kwamba wewe sio yule mtu fulani. Yeah. Uh, kitu cha kwanza ambacho nitawaambia kwamba katika ukuaji au katika mafanikio kuna stages. Kwa hiyo stage ya kwanza lazima ujifunze. Kwa hiyo kisha jifunza unaweza sasa kaanza kuwafundisha wengine. Lakini sasa wakati unafundisha una wengine na we ufanye kwa hiyo kuna vitu ambavyo unaweza ukaanza navyo kuwafundisha wengine kama wewe unaandika vitabu jaribu kufundisha kuhusu kuandika vitabu kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho unakifanya sasa kama wewe hujaanza kuwa bilionea na unaanza kuzungumza kuwafundisha namna ya kuwa bilionea i think speaking industry tumeanza kubadilisha huu mtazamo huu kuna misleading concepts ambazo speakers wengine wanazifanya na ndio maana hata leo tunaenda kutangaza speakers uh, platform inaitwa speakers mentor box ambapo tutakuwa tunatoa mentorship kwa speakers kwa speaker yoyote ambayo hatokuwa kwenye hiyo speakers mentor box au kwenye hiyo platform ya kujifunza mm. na kujua misingi na ethics za, za speaking yeah. huyu tutakuwa hatumtambui e, kwa sababu ataenda atapotosha wengine eje za akija wanasema ni wale wale kumbe yule wa kwanza ameharibu sasa huyu wa pili amekuja ndo yuko genuine anaelewa anachokifanya wanasema ni wale wale kwa hiyo tunataka tutengeneze ethics tutengeneze platform ambayo wale upcoming speakers wanaweza wakajifunza wajue misingi ya sekta hii misingi ya kazi hii ikoje ili wasiende kuharibu huko mbele sasa unatoa ushauri gani kwa vijana ama jamii ambayo inahitaji kufikia level mlofika nyie naamini kwamba mnafanya jambo ili kuinspire jamii nyuma je yeah, ni kitu gani ambacho mna kwa watu ili kuweza kufika level mlofika. Ah uh, malizia nataka kusema kwamba vijana wawe they should be willing to learn. Wawe tayari kujifunza, wasiwe na ego kwamba ah hapana mimi siwezi nikaenda kwa Mr. Nabe kwa ajili ya maelekezo au kwa ajili ya elimu. Hapana kama unajua kwamba hapo na unaanza kupata 
unajua i can learn more from mr nabe kwenye mambo za kisaikolojia naenda kwa dr chris mauki mambo za ujasiria mali labda bwana eric shigongo kwa mfano mambo za siasa pia labda mheshimiwa eric shigongo anaweza kukusaidia kwa hiyo don't don't be don't hesitate to learn usiwe na hofu kama ani kienda kwake labda pengine labda yupo busy ana kukarana kwa kesho bado usikate tamaa endelea kujifunza uh, fanya jitihada endelea kufanya jitihada unajua kuna photographer mmoja anaitwa Moise Hussein anasema kwamba YouTube is your best university YouTube is your best university. kila kitu ipo YouTube okay unaangalia movie unaangalia mimi na Mr. Nabe tunapendaga sana movie kwa hiyo hakuna shida ya kuangalia movie au series lakini pia take some time off kuangalia vitu vya maana pia jifunze learn from Brian Tracy kuna speeches za Mr. Nabe kuna darasa kila siku saa kumi mpaka saa kumi na moja jifunze utapata vitu vingi sana na hali kadhalika unaweza kuendelea binafsi pia na you can succeed in your field unaweza kufanikiwa kwenye eneo lako sasa shukrani sana nabe labda unawaambia nini ambao watajutia kukosa siku ya leo ah mimi ambacho nitawaambia kwamba wamekosa kitu kikubwa lakini waendelee kufuatilia account zetu waendelee kufuatilia darasa waendelee kufuatilia mitandao ya speakers wengine watajifunza kitu na kama hawana platform ambayo wanaelewa basi waulize speakers wengine kwa sababu uwezi kupata kitu sahihi kama haupo kwenye mtandao sahihi kwa hiyo wajiunge kwenye mtandao usiwe nje ya mtandao vitu vingine utavikosa sana jiunge kwenye mtandao ujue kama anataka kujifunza kitu wakina nani ambao wanafanya hicho kitu then utakuwa unapata information za kitu hicho mkuu wa chuo cha Kilimanjaro Institute of Technology and Management kilichopo Mwenge jijini Dar es Salaam na chenye ithibati na usajili wa nakte namba REG mkwaju ANE mkwaju 029 anapenda kuwatangazia nafasi za masomo kwa ngazi ya diploma na certificate katika kozi za IT business administration accountancy procurement and supply front office na hotel management. Chuo kimebobea katika ufundishaji wa njia ya vitendo na kimeweza kutoa wanafunzi wenye weledi. Wengi wameajiriwa ama kujiajiri na kwa wale ambao wameamua kuendelea na degree wameweza kujiunga na vyo vikuu bora hapa nchini na nje ya nchi. Pia kuna ofa ya kozi fupi za computer application, graphics and design pamoja na video production. Maalum kwa vijana wanaomaliza kidato cha nne na cha sita mwaka huu. Karibu ujifunze kwa njia ya vitendo kwa kutumia vifaa vya kisasa. Kwa maelezo Zai piga simu namba 0754 864361 au 0715 0750 KITM elimu na ujuzi kwa maendeleo ya viwanda